I don't believe we spend enough time outside at all. I don't think we get enough natural light, sunlight or exposure to the elements. I think we spend far too much time on our phones and not enough time with nothing to do. Remember when you were a kid and your parents told you to go outside? If you complained of being bored, if you'd been watching too much TV, or if you were just annoying them, go outside, they'd say. Well, I'm here to be your parent today. The more you go outside, the more you want to be outside. We live in a time where mental illness is massively on the rise. The younger generations coming through with the highest numbers of recorded mental illnesses in our known history. I'm sure this is a result of many compiling factors, but I put money on the following being a major one. Too much time on technology. Their worlds revolving around social media rather than spending time outside amongst the natural world. Human beings are natural beings. We are part of the earth. We are the earth. Modern inventions and things like medicine are incredible and definitely have their place. But I feel that a lot of us have forgotten the powers that nature holds. How it feels to sit amongst the trees alone. To simply be a human being sitting on the earth. I find that when I'm anxious, lost, lonely, helpless, going outside really helps me. I find the atmosphere calming, listening to the birds, the leaves swaying in the wind, brushing up against each other, people talking as they walk by. I love picking up and feeling the textures of the fallen dried leaves on the ground, tearing them apart as I look around at the sun hitting the paper bark on the trees, or the waves rolling in at the beach. Listening to the sound of the waves crashing, seagulls talking, planes flying, cars driving. Feeling the sand on my skin, salty wind fly through my hair, sun greeting me like an old friend. Nature is our friend. She helps us calm our minds, gain clarity, find peace, work through our problems, find beauty in the mundane, find reasons to smile and be grateful. My mind wanders as I sit, thinking about everything and nothing. Creativity often meets me outside and my mind explores new ideas and exciting possibilities. I feel that I have time, and the passing of time feels natural and necessary. My mind and body have the opportunity to relax. I just really feel the most connected to myself out here. To get comfortable being alone amongst nature, like sitting in a park, I started off by bringing a book to read. When I have a book, I don't really ever feel alone and I'm certainly not concentrating on the fact that I'm alone. And the brilliant thing I found about going out into nature by myself is that I can do it exactly as I please. I can sit under the shade of a tree for as long as I like, book or no book, snacks or no snacks. I don't have to compromise or fit into someone else's life. I get to experience nature how I choose to. I found myself enjoying the experiences so much that I crave time outside alone and I try to do as much as I can amongst nature. I'm writing this video in the park right now. I really believe that nature has everything we could need. We just have to be open to it and work with her. The more time I spend outside, the happier I become overall. The more clarity I feel, sense of peace, contentment, gratitude, love, and spark for life. I believe that nature is the route to happiness and fulfillment because it opens each of us up to our purest form. 
we can find everything we need within ourselves, within nature.